Visitors at the Goodman Gallery in Johannesburg stood by in shock on Tuesday morning as two men, one white, one black, casually walked up to Brett Murray's controversial painting of President Jacob Zuma and smeared paint all over it. 35 seconds later, a security guard had butted the younger black man and threw him to the ground. The two men have been taken to Rosebank Police Station for questioning. Yeah, I came like anyone else, you know, just to see the support. As journalists, we need to know what's going on. So I got inside, uh, you know, did some, you know, asked some questions of the gallery staff and so on. There were a few people inside, nothing spectacular. Um, and then suddenly there was this gentleman on the right hand side of me with like sort of light grey jacket sidling along. Um, and I thought, okay, well, he's just, you know, inching in to get a better view. Suddenly I see him whip out a can of paint, red paint and a paintbrush, and he draws an X over the genital area of, of the picture. So for a moment I was a bit stupefied, I thought, well, maybe it's part of an installation, you know, I don't know, um, but it didn't look right. Then he painted an X on the president's face, and then I realized something had to be wrong. Behind me there was another commotion, a black gentleman had gotten a tin of black paint and completely defaced the rest of the painting, and he got into a scuffle with security officials. Earlier, a crowd of ANC supporters clad in green, yellow and black gathered outside the South Gauteng High Court, where Zuma and the ANC ANC is taking on the Goodman Gallery and City Press newspaper. The ANC said the artwork is an insult not only to the ruling party but also to Zuma's family and the rest of the world. They want an urgent interdict preventing the exhibition and publication of the spear after both the gallery and newspaper refused to remove the image. The matter was postponed until Thursday as Judge President Phineas Mojatello deemed the case so important that it will be heard by a full panel of judges. What we need to measure is going forward how far can people who call themselves artists go and how do we, how do we balance the right to artistic freedom vis-a-vis -vis the right to human dignity. With regard to that, whether that picture is there or it has been destroyed or not, it is there in the minds of those who saw it. We then need to go to court and say, can future artists insult anybody in the manner our president was insulted? Whether it is there or not there, this case is still important to us as the ANC to the family of the president and I believe to our government. Even after the artworks defacing, the ANC remains resolute in their court challenge, saying the case must set a precedent that will prevent such art in the future.